you know, y'all have kids. Everybody have kids, I hope. You have kids that they love to watch all these shows and you have to sit there and watch them with them and stuff. And sooner or later, you get when you like the shows, but they don't like them no more. And now you have to watch them by yourself and you feel like a dirty old man. Like I had to rent the neighbor's kid to go see Jungle Book like a year ago because my son didn't want to go with me to see Jungle Book and I don't want to look like a weird guy. There you have a Republican Senate candidate who's running for Senate in a runoff election in Georgia tomorrow, talking about how he rented children to watch a children's <laughs> movie. That was his cover. That was his cover to not look like a weirdo. If you want to not look like a weirdo, rent local children and bring them out in public with you and pretend they're your own. Oh, how did this happen? How did this happen? I okay, mean, I so paint the direct line for you. It goes from a bunch of idiots that were morally bankrupt that started saying, I wonder how morally bankrupt we can be. And then they're like, oh, let's try Trump. And Trump was completely morally bankrupt and said insane things, and that worked. And they're like, what about somebody who was, who was what CTE would look like if you could draw it? And that's where we are with Herschel Walker. I just need dudes in general who think about running for office to understand one thing. Don't share anecdotes with kids at all, ever, okay? <laughs> More often than not, it doesn't work out for you, it creeps people out. I mean, look, I don't mean to compare Joe Biden to Herschel Walker, cuz I think Herschel Walker is on another level. But when Joe Biden was talking about kids playing with his leg hair when he yeah. was like a lifeguard at the pool, it's like, don't do that. That was very creepy Don't speech. do that. Very strange. Yeah, that's not good, that's bad, it's very yeah, your bad. Your anecdote should be about your own children. And yeah, even that Herschel Walker should not do because his own children then go on rant saying, I do not respect my father at all. He threatened to kill us. So there's in yeah. that instance, even a, a, a second warning for Herschel Walker. Don't He shouldn't tell stories. He really does his best when he has uh, Ted Cruz and Lindsey Graham on each side of him doing the talking. And then he talks does about- he know? Oh, no, I mean, you? no, but it's slightly better. And then he chimes in real quick. I just wanted to quit before we're out of time, Sean. This erection is very important. And then, wait, exactly, wait. that's what I was gonna say. I mean, the man had erection on the mind as he's sandwiched between Ted Cruz and Lindsey Graham. He's not doing himself any favors. Anyway, but let's move forward Fact. because that's not the only bad thing he said on the campaign trail recently, okay? Because he said a lot of questionable things on the campaign trail. But as of late, there was the video that we just showed you. But there was also this interview that he did with Politico that has me reconsidering whether he even knows what he's running for, right? So um, in this interview with Politico, it didn't appear that he knew what he was running for or the stakes of the election, which again will take place tomorrow in Georgia. This is the runoff election between Herschel Walker and the incumbent Democrat, uh, Raphael Warnock. Now he says, they're not less motivated, meaning voters. They're not less motivated because they know right now that the house will be even so they don't want to understand what is happening right now. You get the house, you get the committees, you get all the committees even. They just stall things within there. So if we keep a check on Joe Biden, we are just going to keep a check on him. He's running for the Senate, not the house. And Republicans have already taken control of the house. Also worth noting that even if Herschel Walker wins the runoff election in Georgia tomorrow, Democrats will still have a very slim majority because they already have 50 senators elected. And obviously Kamala Harris would be the tie breaking vote, which doesn't even really matter because they still have the legislative filibuster because the Senate is meant to do nothing for you. Anyway, so I wanted to give you that context because it seems like he's kind of unaware of like what's going on or what he's running for. I'm surprised by that. I've been impressed with this campaign the whole way through to this point. And the fact that he's just, must be, must be tired during these last few days where he only did two events and Warnock did six events. But you know, he's used to playing football and not necessarily using his words so much. I find it also very offensive to, I don't know how he doesn't find it offensive that the button that Lindsey Graham keeps wearing next to him and they keep chanting at his rallies is run, Herschel run. Which is comparing him to Forrest Gump, the famous run, Forrest run. And they're complaining, they're comparing his candidate for the Senate to a man with all respect to Forrest Gump with mental disabilities. 
And that's the slogan they chose and he doesn't get that that's offensive. And also in Herschel Walker's defense, maybe he is also running for the house. Maybe he's running to be allowed back into his own house. Maybe his own home has voted him out and he's trying to get back in there. Uh, there's no other way to understand what he's talking about. Except for the very important fact that he is right even though he said the wrong words. The Senate committees will be decided on this election. That is the major thing really that's gonna be decided. Like you said, there's still a super majority that the Democrats do not have to get most legislation through unless Joe Manchin has some sort of come to Jesus moment. I mean, he's already he really into Jesus and he won't. But the committees will now be 50 50 unless Warnock gets reelected and beats Walker, then they'll have a majority and they'll be able to at least advance legislation for votes and much easier. So it is important and I do hope it is important. You're those. right. I mean, it is important to advance legislation out of committees so it can die on the Senate floor Correct. because of yep. that arbitrary legislative filibuster that requires 60 senators to vote in favor of legislation in order for it to pass. Look, the Senate is intentionally set up in a way to ensure that nothing gets done. Mm -hmm. And unless something changes about the way that system is structured, we're gonna keep running into the same issue over and over again, where Democrats will be like, what can we do? <laughs> what can we do? Yeah, I know, what can you do? I mean. When you guys have the power, when you control the levers of power, you can do away with the filibuster, but they're unwilling to do that because yeah. they love that convenient excuse. All right, one more video from Herschel Walker's campaign events. This is another one where he really does demonstrate just his deep, unbelievable intelligence. Let's watch. And he trying to tell us we can go to our enemies to ask for anything. Do they know the definition of enemy? I'm gonna tell you the definition of enemy because I've been reading, man. I've been reading. People that go to the University of Georgia can read. And I can tell you this right there. Enemy means somebody that don't like you. I don't even know the definition of secure either. Secure meaning it gotta be locked up, meaning nobody can get in, it's tight. They don't even know that definition. They're bringing pronouns in our military and I'm like, what the heck is a pronoun? I'm sick and tired of this pronoun stuff. Are you tired of this pronoun stuff? What I'm gonna do for this senator, I'm gonna give him a pronoun. His pronoun is former senator pronoun. Him saying to be a senator, you gotta know some stuff. I'm gonna tell him he don't know no stuff. I'm telling y'all the stuff he don't know. Herschel was such a great speaker, and and I think a lot of people don't realize uh, how smart he is. Okay, I have no idea what he was talking. He he's he, he's read books lately. I don't know what books. And I don't know what that has to do with anything. What did he learn? What is he going to carry out based on what he has read in such books? Like I, I, whatever. I mean, look, here's the good news, Ben. There is some good news here. And the good news is that people are getting real active in Georgia and they are casting their ballots. More than 1.8 million ballots have been cast to date, with about 300,000 people voting early each day last week, setting records for the largest single day early voting turnout in state history. Early voting ended on Friday and Georgians had only five days of statewide early voting this year compared with three weeks during the last runoff and for last month's general election. And I should note that Democrats are outpacing Republicans when it comes to early in person and mail in votes, heavy margin here. 52% to 39%. So there's a part of me who, just based on how Herschel Walker has been behaving recently that believes he's kind of given up and he knows what's going to happen tomorrow. But I also don't want to get too you know, confident. So if, if you're in Georgia, if you haven't cast your ballot yet, if you haven't voted, please make sure you do so. It's an important election because to me at this point, it's not even about, oh, which party is going to take control. Like, Democrats have the control. They have the, you know, 51 with Kamala Harris included to, to have the majority. But Herschel Walker is not fit to be a senator. It has nothing to do with his political ideology. It has everything to do with, I mean, you heard it, you saw it, you know what I'm talking about. He's not fit to be an elected official. I don't agree, Anna. I, I watched that last speech and he convinced me finally. 
to get on the, the, the walker train. Because when he said he looked up the word secure and that it means keeping stuff safe like you're hugging it. And then enemy means people who are against you. I realize he understands the dynamics of power and it's kind of a carrot and stick situation. And and uh, he, he, he knows stuff and Warnock doesn't know stuff. He's gonna tell you the stuff that he doesn't know and by telling you the stuff he does know. And those are words, I'm just up there with like, you know, the only thing to fear is fear itself and that's not what your country can do for you, <laughs> but you can do for your country. I'm gonna tell you the stuff he don't know and I'll take what I do know. And I think that's amazing. So yeah. I'm on board. It is of course very important as you're saying, and we need to make sure people come out um, because also it'll help be more likely that Democrats then can take the Senate in two more years when they have one extra seat for six years. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.